Whoa, how lovely was that? Any excuse to go for a drive in a customer's car. We've uh, just done the clutch on this one, so I have to go and take it for a drive. Um, but about the car itself, more important, this one is a HJ45. So HJ, it's the diesel, 45, it's the H engine. But a little bit unique, this one, it's a uh, seventh month, 1980. So one more month and we had the uh, 2H. And in 1979 was to 1980. It's quite a unique for the um, HJ45 uh, because they went in 79. They put the fuel tank underneath the cab. It was the start of that and the square bezel. But we've still got small eye suspension. So this chassis only ran just a little over a year. It's a very unique car. And this is an awesome example of a fine HJ45. Underneath the bonnet, it's uh, very clean. It's got the original airbox, all the wiring's consolidated. It's really nice and tidy under there. And uh, the chassis the same. It's been up on the hoist. You have a look at the chassis and uh, they don't really come any cleaner than this. It's um, the gentleman that owns this. It's a, it's a daily now and uh, He's got one hell of a clean car. It uh, first came in here for a roadworthy. So we did the roadworthy. It only needed uh, brakes, some flexi lines, uh, tie rods, wheel alignment, just the general stuff. She was straight back on the road again. And this time, your clutch, with the clutch goes your rear main and a few other little bits and bobs. And it's a sweet, sweet truck to drive. You'll notice um, this one has got a ton of surface rust. But if we have a closer look, He's used a product like Penetrol or um, a, a similar product to protect the body. So it's, it's a little bit drizzling out here now. And none of that water is sitting on that surface rust. None of the surface rust is getting any worse. So the gentleman that owns this is going for a, a particular look. And um, what a sweet look it is. Um, beige. They're all beige, aren't they? Um, the canvas, it's got a steel tray, steel floor. Um, this canopy's been here a little while. She's a little bit torn and weathered, but it actually goes with the rest of the truck. The split rims in excellent condition. Uh, the bull bar, she's uh, more, a little bit homemade there. So, but it just, it just really highlights uh, an old work vehicle. Just as simple as the outside, we got the inside. We'll take a closer look at the inside. I like this, it's unmolested. There's uh, not much going on, but let's have a closer look anyway. And so this is it. This is what I'm talking about. The simplicity of it all. It's, um, it's 1980, same dash right through the, uh, the late 70s, unmolested. We've got the UHF in the radio hole, the radio hole, the radio popped on underneath. Um, apart from a cute little man basket and a fire extinguisher. And oh, and um, th these are, uh, will be homemade door cards, but uh, um, it's a very, very original spec HJ45. And uh, it's uh, just c cool to see. Um, we all modify them how we like them. Mine's very different. Most are. It's nice to see something like this. It's just a sweet old rig. So she speaks for itself. It's already 40 years old um, with a bit of care from us, but more so important, an owner that really cares about it. It's going to be on the road for many more decades to come. There's not much else to say about this one. It's just pure beauty, how it was in its day, and it pretty much speaks for itself.